Hey guys, I'm uh, back again with another tip that you can use with or for the fire row. I've received a lot of positive uh, feedback and also quite a few private messages uh, concerning uh, other material that possibly could be used with the fire row. Um, I think that people were really interested in the potassium permanganate, but they were unable to find at their local stores potassium permanganate. Well, there's something else that you can get that you can disinfect water with too, just like potassium permanganate, and it's probably more readily available, and you can find it at any large shopping center or pool supply uh, shop or store, whatever you want to call them, and that would be calcium hypochlorite. Calcium hypochlorite is just basically powdered bleach, and I'd like to talk a little bit about that right quick. Uh, calcium hypochlorite in the powdered form is probably best and better than bleach simply for the fact that bleach when you purchase it like a like one of those gallon jugs it loses its potency after probably I believe three maybe six months so it's not as effective so if you're wanting to store that for a long-term emergency water supply then you might want to consider going with just calcium hypochlorite and it's going to last longer especially if you keep it in a cool dry place. Now also I guess you can see the many survival purposes of that not only drinking water but the disinfectant agent as well in a worst case scenario or a crap hits the fan situation you would want something like this to keep germs down as well. Um, also it works really well with the fire rug but you know I want to caution you be careful when you're using these chemicals for the purpose of fire making. Um, Calcium hypochlorite is a very powerful oxidizing agent, so be very careful. It's also corrosive, I believe, to metals. And um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I wanted to make a point to point this out just to show you how good uh, this would be included in your kit, but it's a, it's a good little tidbit. I think like a one pound bag, and I could be wrong about this, is good for disinfecting like 10,000 gallons water so keep that in mind you know I mean it's <laughs> that's a lot of water if worst case scenario or if something really bad happened you might be good for quite a while you know obviously boiling water is going to kill uh, a lot more than just your chemical agents but it's a good backup and a really good uh, substance to keep in your kits um, I'm not sure if I covered everything that I wanted to but if I don't and I rewatch this vid I will include more information in the description below but uh, let me get this set up guys and I'll show you how this works with the fire row okay guys uh, the sound got knocked out here and I'm not really sure what happened during the transfer but that's okay um, once again I'm using 100% uh, cotton for my base medium and I use 100% cotton always when I'm demonstrating to show you that if it'll work with cotton it'll work with any of the plant fibers that I've used before. Um, this particular uh, calcium hypochlorite is uh, I think at 73 percent. I have used those at 78 percent before but 73 percent here works well. I'm not really sure if it's going to uh, do any less as far as uh, uh, forming an ember or fire making if you get it less than 73 percent I really don't know that but uh, it, probably not it'll probably work just as well if it's in the 60 something percent range as well but here I am rolling it up just like you would normally see and I'm not gonna roll very long and you'll see a fairly quick reaction here so I'm gonna be gentle with it and I caution you to be gentle don't put a lot of pressure on this uh, calcium hypochlorite is a very powerful oxidizing agent and guys, look, if you get injured doing this or duplicating what you see me doing here, I'm not going to take any responsibility. And the reaction here is fairly rapid. And there it is. And it's actually a flame. You can't see it on the camera here. But, trust me, you got an ember here and a small flame. You don't need that much. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day.